Democratic primary season kick off this week with the top 20 Democratic presidential candidates facing over two nights in Miami. Our Samantha Joe Roth has a preview of what voters can expect as both sides focus in on courting Florida's unique political electorate. The stage is set. 20 Democratic candidates facing off across two nights in Miami. It's really hard to have a debate that can be substantive with so many candidates. Republicans dealt with a field nearly this large back in 2015. But instead of holding back-to-back -back debates on the same night, the historically large Democratic field is split across Wednesday and Thursday, with each night featuring two randomly selected slates of 10 candidates. Having them at the same time on two different days, they are trying to say that these debates are equal. The random draw was fairly lopsided. Experts believe Senator Elizabeth Warren, the top polling contender in Group 1, has a major advantage. She will in some ways have that stage to herself to make her a very progressive case, and she has a lot of plans. The most well-known and highest polling candidates will go head-to-head -head on the second night, with Vice President Joe Biden and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders on the same stage. Expect a lot of confrontation. We can see that between the vision of the progressives and Bernie Sanders and the vision of President Biden saying you need to be more moderate, you need to build consensus. While the candidates will get national attention, it'll also be an opportunity for them to get their message out directly to voters in the state. And even without a nominee just yet, the Democratic Party is already stepping up their outreach efforts, deploying 90 organizers targeting critical swing districts. Those folks are spread out across the state and the Florida Democratic Party will have a strong field effort in both Tampa and Orlando uh, and across the I-4. In Orlando, Samantha Joroth, Spectrum, News 13. Prominent